I mean, that's your call because it's your artwork and, yeah. and you're, the, you're the boss of your artwork. Having students take authority over their artwork is a common theme in Susan Anderson McCallick's class. As the 2010 Broward Art Teacher of the Year from Terrabella High incorporates many diverse and interesting lessons into her photography and traditional art classes, all in an effort to keep her students busy and bring out their inner artist. Nothing bothers me more than when somebody finishes a project and they're sitting there bored waiting for everybody else. And kids learn at different rates and they complete things at different levels and different time schedules. So I try to keep them having things to do all the time. It's important to keep the flow going. I like excitement and I like activity and I like energy. There's a lot of energy in my classes and that's really important for the students and for me. And a lot of that energy is directed towards individual expression because Mrs. Anderson McCallick believes that art comes from within. So she makes a point to give her students the tools and environment to express themselves. I try to bring out the uniqueness in a person and give them, you know, I give them basics. I teach them how to use the different things they're creating their artwork out of and give them different techniques so that they could create and have artistic success. But then I, I really strongly believe that each person has something special inside of them, something really unique and different from anybody else, and they have to find it. And, and I give them a lot of freedom when they're doing their artwork. Not freedom to run in and out of the room or go to sleep. I mean freedom to do the artwork that's inside of them. And Mrs. Anderson McCallick knows that allowing this creative freedom is important for these students and can be almost therapeutic during these difficult transitional ages. There are some things that, that you can almost express through your art that you can have a hard time saying out loud or that you just don't have words for and you can get the message through your art and therefore it kind of relieves you of that stress that you had and you can go on through the day without having to deal with that. You know, they're coming through tough times right now. Families are going through bad financial times, and they need a place where they could express their views in a creative way, in a controlled environment, and so I, I think they need to express themselves. It's not an easy world we live in all the time. Sometimes you could work things out through creating and not destroying, you know? And creating is what the students do daily in Miss Anderson McCallick's class, as she has them constantly working hands-on with their assignments, which can be truly helpful in retaining the information. Sitting, just reading stuff out of books and stuff is pretty boring. I mean, if you wanted, if we wanted to do that, we would take in like art history or something like that. So I think she knows that we want to be hands-on and do things like that. So that's why she does it. Well, I think it gives them good. You know, good experience, the best way to learn is by doing something and creating something and, you know, an environment where they're, they're learning by doing and they can get a lot of different experiences. And one of those experiences is appreciating their teacher. As the students quickly find out how much she truly cares, not only about their artwork, but about each and every one of them. And that's so good. It really does remind me of the Mona Lisa. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I've had Miss Anderson Metallic for four years now. She makes you like comfortable and she's, since my freshman year, I've grown so much like art-wise that she's honestly one of my favorite teachers that I've had all four years. Like I can't think of anybody better. I'm actually sad. I took her my senior year. I'm sad I didn't take it earlier. It's my favorite class. I come here all the time because of how she is. She's just nice. She, she, she's a person you can talk to. You say if you have family problems or personal problems, I know she's always there to listen. I actually invited her to graduation because we are allowed to pick one person and she's the teacher that I picked. She's sweet. She's someone I can come to even if I'm not having trouble in her class. Exactly if I'm having trouble with something outside of class or one of my other classes, I can come talk to her and she just somehow makes everything seem better and I can go on with my day and smile and it's fine. She's amazing. Kids are magic, you know. They never cease to amaze me with what, with what they come out with and, you know, to see them go on and walk across the stage at graduation and then 
they come back and tell you what they've become in their careers and their lives and they say, oh my God, you, you helped me. Wow. You know, I never expected to change someone's life. I just wanted to help a little bit. Broward School Beat can be seen right here on Beacon TV. Invest in yourself.